Hey guys, today we're showing you how to catch some fall time speckled trout in shore. There we go. Another one, baby. They are right here. Oh, baby shrimp. Oh my God, that's a big speckled trout. Holy shit, I wish I had my net. Today we're going to be talking about some of the best tactics for fall time speckled trout fishing. I'm going to walk you through the setup I was using, including the rod, the lures, the line, and some techniques that I really like to use during the fall time to locate speckled trout and really put the pounding on them. Before we get talking about speckled trout in the fall, first I want to give a quick shout out to our friends at Southern Fen. They just dropped this new camo hoodie and they hooked us up with it. It is slick on the water. I've been trying it out recently. It's perfect for sun protection when it's hot out. It keeps you warm when you're cold. It's like a perfect all-in-one sort of sweater. It's got quick dry material, so if you get wet, especially if you're in a kayak, it dries off real quick. Go check out that link in the description below. They make some great gifts that you can put under your Christmas tree. Santa, Santa watches yeah. the videos, man. He, he's catching, he ain't fishing. First, I wanna show you the success I had on the water today, and then I'm gonna give you an in-depth look at all the gear and tackle and techniques we're using. Let's roll the footage. Trolling around and drop off of a point. Uh, it's a grassy point and then it drops off to about five or six feet. So that area is gonna be good First fish see what it is Lizard <laughs> On the voodoo shrimp we're using a tandem rig voodoo shrimp up top diesel minnow on the bottom Goodbye to him Get up. It was a little better oh. And it was a bigger lizard fish. I'm gonna filter through these guys and find some good game fish. I'll take it though. Better than getting skunked. Again, on that voodoo shrimp. Seems to be in the right level. I see a pocket of boats up here. Usually that's a good thing. It means that there's fish there. So we're gonna go investigate. Target species, baby. Speckled trout. First one of the day. I was getting lit up left and right there too, so we're gonna hit that again. Booyah! You're doing some fall time trolling today, people. First fish of the day, let's uh, show you how to get some more. Beauty speck, speckled beauty. There we go, another one, baby. What do we got, what do we got? All right, they are right here. There's no doubt about that. They are slamming them too. Since I caught two, I'm gonna stop and sort of jig around. I located the spot, so I wanna get some more. They're smaller, but hey, I'll take them. There we go. Peace. My first few casts of jigging didn't, didn't get any bites, so I'm just gonna stick to what was working and keep trolling along this shore. Got about five feet of water and it's on the wind protected side so it seems like they're schooling up here i'm seeing a lot of action on top of the surface so let's see if we can't get some more so i'm just paddling going nice and slow so you can see that's sort of my pace they've been hitting on the lighter jig so might have to switch the other rod over they are here. What are you hit on? What are you hit on? There's a little booty shrimp. Booty shrimp is the king. That's that's the lesson of the day today. Um, oh, come on. Don't go back there. <laughs> Pride 12. 11. I mean, 11, 12. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there he goes. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. That one was slightly bigger and it was slightly deeper in the water column. So I ripped through there again. Seems like they're all schooling up right there. Good spot to be right now. If you guys want to keep learning grade A information about how to catch more fish, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on. We have a wide variety of videos covering multiple species, how to catch them, great tips and tricks so you can catch more fish. Also, swing by our website to get more in-depth information on the gear and tackle that we love to use when going out fishing. One common mistake when you're fishing for speckled trout, which I just made, is you set the hook too hard. Those speckled trout, they have delicate lips, so you gotta take care of them. Don't set the hook too hard, don't force them in, because your hook can 
rip through those lips, and then you lose the fish. So you wanna play them nice and soft, unlike what I just did. So I'm just continuing to target that water depth of around five to seven feet. And we're just gonna keep on chugging. That's the thing with trolling. As long as you keep moving, you're gonna keep finding fish. That's the biggest one yet. It could be like a bluefish though. All seriousness. Feels big. Oh my god, that's a big speckled trout. Holy shit, I wish I had my net. Oh, oh that's dinner, baby. Oh yeah. Booyah, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. oh yeah that's what i'm talking about baby that's what it's all about String our game up. put it around 18 inches wow that's a pretty fish that makes the day right there now it's time to get this guy home. Uh, I'm just gonna paddle, following the same sort of pattern I was doing earlier, and hopefully we can add a few more to this dinner. Um, another note about speckled trout fishing is that cloudier days are usually better because they like low light. So if you go early in the morning or late in the evening, those hours are the best. Um, and cloudy days are generally better than sunny days. Just keep that in mind. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about with that lip rip. See that? I yanked that much harder. This guy would have been gone. As I was kayaking back to my car, we passed that spot where I caught those three trout. That's why I had the camera on. I was confident that there were still trout there. And there were. Let's see if we can't get another one. Oh, lizard fish. We started the day with lizard fish. We might be ending the day with a lizard fish. I hope not. That's the thing I love about these dude shrimps, man. They are durable. Lizard fish teeth. Can't bite through that thing. See you, buddy. Back on track. As you saw, we got on a couple speckled trout, a nice one there at the end, and this was due to the gear we were using. So let's get into it. With our rod and reels, we were using medium to medium light action rods. Ideally for a speckled trout, you really only need a 3,000 or 2,000 size reel, and you wanna spool that with 10 to 15 pound test, depending on how much structure is around you. Obviously, with more structure, you wanna have your pound test. With bigger fish, have your pound test as well. Today, with the small ones we were catching, 10 pound test, was optimal. I always use braid because of the increased sensitivity and the lack of stretch that is in your line it allows you to cast further and get more line on your reel than say with the monofilament line. On the end of that 10 to 15 pound braid, I always like to have some fluorocarbon around 15 to 20 pounds. Fluorocarbon leader helps decrease the line visibility underwater. And I was fishing in real clear water today, so that so making sure your line is invisible underwater is a big plus for increasing your hookups. I usually use gold label fluorocarbon leader, uh, and I'll link that below. Everything that I'm gonna talk about is all linked below in the description. On the end of those leaders, I was using a mixture of baits. I was using some voodoo shrimp, an array of jig heads and paddle tails, one jig head at a quarter ounce, one jig head at three eighths ounce. I like to have that variety of weight because it targets different spots in the water column. So if the speckled trout are feeding a little bit lower, I'll catch those. And if they're feeding a little bit higher, I'll also catch those. On my stiffer rod, I had a tandem rig going with a light quarter ounce jig head and the voodoo shrimp up top. 
Surprisingly, the Voodoo Shrimp doesn't really have a paddle action or like a twister tail, but it was still catching some speckled trout. All these lures, I had some Procure Shrimp. Procure Shrimp is great because it adds that scent to your lure. So a lot of fish hunt with their version of smell, so having that scent on your lures helps attract them. Another one of our favorites are mirror lures. Trolling mirror lures are great because they offer you a different type of presentation than say a grub. This color in particular is extremely deadly for speckled trout. And those hooks on there are sharp, sharp, sharp. So if they bite, they're on. So that's it for the gear. The tactic I was using today was trolling and then casting towards schools of fish once I found them. So you wanna troll first, get on some bites. Once you get on some bites, you know that the fish are gonna be there. Park your kayak, toss some lures their way, and they should be biting. If they don't bite, keep trolling. Troll through that area a few more times and- Keep, keep on trolling till you drop. <laughs> keep on. Trout will usually school by size. So as you can see, most of the trout I was catching today in the first spot were around the same size, but then once I moved around the corner, I found that bigger one. And I probably would have caught more bigger ones, but I wanted to get that baby back before sundown and get that baby on the grill. So the spot I was fishing in today was, was a shallow point. Shallow point is great to fish on a rising tide. So from a low to a high. During that low to high tide, uh, the water begins to rise on the flat and the speckled trout come up on top and search for bait fish that are hiding out in potholes and grass. So if you can find a shallow shoal with grass and potholes, fishing that on a rising tide, you're gonna find some speckled trout. So guys, I hope you learned a lot from this video. That's one great tactic to use in the fall time, especially to find a lot of trout. If you have any questions or any added information, if you have a great fall time tactic, feel free to leave that in the comments below. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Go check out our next video of us catching some speckled trout in the surf with one of our favorite baits. This thing gets it done day in and day out. We'll see y'all there.